All right, welcome to our year-end special of Come Again. Last episode of the year. We're your hosts, I'm Shannon. I'm John Weiss. And the music you're hearing in the background is Billy's son is playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game. On the NES. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, which I believe you watched us play last week. Uh, I haven't uploaded it. <laughs> Fucking slacker. Well, I'm only one man. Come on. Who's currently not working. I've been uploading tons of videos and doing a ton of editing. Did you not watch my how I... Can you guys just do it and stop talking? <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true video gamer right there. You're yeah. distracting me with your talking. <laughs> Alright, so anyway... We've had a lot of uh, celebrity deaths this year. This though. year sucks. Yeah. Um, the most recent, of course, being Terry Fisher. Yeah. Princess Leia from the Star Wars films. Of course, Blues Brothers, Drop Dead Fred, uh, Fanboys. So. Uh, let's see, we had David Bowie, uh -huh. Alan Rickman. Abe Vigoda, who I thought was already dead. No, he died this I year. Know, yeah. I know, I know. But he, <laughs> he played, for those of you who don't know, he was the grandpa in the nursing home on Look Who's Talking. Uh, he was also, uh, he played uh, um, in uh, Barney Miller TV series. Was he on Taxi or not? No, he was on Taxi, but he was also part of the uh, own family in the Godfather films. See, I still have yet to watch the Godfather movies. What? You are not a man. <laughs> you give me a man card. He is not a man. <laughs> I've never seen him. You're uh, not a man. I want your card too. Uh, George Gaines. How the hell do you not watch the Godfather? <laughs> you know, I can see you not watching the third one. Third one sucked. But the first and second one, with the second one being better than the first one, the fourth one being outstanding. All right. See, I just... Yeah, yeah I So, George Gaines, uh, Tony Burton. Yeah, Nancy, Nancy Reagan, Gary Shanley, which was a huge shocker. Yeah. Patty Duke, Doris, Doris Roberts, Roberts, Prince. Uh, China, those yeah. three, we also did a... John didn't so bring on. his mouse today, so... No, Alan Young. Uh, Alan Young, of course, played uh, Wilbur, Mr. Brown, Mr. Ed, and he did the voice of Scrooge McDuck. Uh, and every time, any Disney movie, DuckTales. Um, woo, woo. Uh, Muhammad Ali. The big, another big one, Anton Yelchin, who had to have died in the most peculiar way. I mean, he got crushed by his car while checking his mail. So, 2016 is, this is, 2016, another final destination, 2016. <laughs> uh, we also got Noel, Noel Neal, Lois Lane herself, Lois Lane. Um, Gene Wilder, uh, Gary Marshall, uh, Gary Marshall, big famous name, you might not have heard of, but know his work, Happy Days, Mork and Mindy, mm -hmm. uh, The Odd Couple, um, uh, uh, Laverne and Shirley, so many big TV shows. In fact, uh, Laverne was movies. his daughter. Laverne is his daughter. Big movies, too. So. Uh, Gene Wilder, Arnold Palmer. I like his drink. Yeah. Uh, Florence Henderson. Mrs. Brady. Yeah. Uh, Fidel Castro. I don't think anyone's too uh, upset about that. Uh, Alan uh, Thicke, Alan which Thicke was, was a huge surprise. Uh, Zsa, Zsa Gabor. Who... Somehow managed to escape death 200 years after she was born. <laughs> um, we got two members of the Rat Pack's sons, uh, Frank Sinatra Sen or Junior, Junior yeah. and then Ricky Martin, not the Latin pop star, but Dean Martin's son. Yeah. Uh, Leonard Cohan, of course. I was introduced to Leonard Cohan from Pump Up the Volume, the Christian Slater movie. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows. Um, he also did Hallelujah and a ton of other songs. Uh, Merle Haggard, um, George Michaels, which was a shocker. That was another big shocker. Um, and then the fifth Beatle, Sir George Martin. Yeah. So, uh, horrible year. Um, of course, again, the most recent one being Carrie Fisher, which is... You'll, you'll, get this, you'll get this a lot. You'll hear this a lot from people. When celebrities die, why mourn them? You didn't know them. They didn't know you. 
they didn't care about you, whatever. And I happen to know, I go to a lot of conventions, the people that are there, there are uh, the celebrities who care about their fans. Mm -hmm. um, but and Carrie, of course, a lot of people have met Carrie Fisher, a lot of people have met Noel Neal, and so, so on and so forth. Uh, so. I've met a few celebrities over the years at conventions who have passed away. Um, and it, it is hard. And the reason why people mourn them is, uh, we'll use Carrie Fisher as an example. You grew up with Princess Leia. You yeah. grew up watching that actress in so many of your favorite movies, especially like with Star Wars. And uh, there's an attachment there. Um, for me, the biggest one was Robin Williams. Because yeah. growing up watching him over the years, he was kind of my mentor. Um, so when he died, that hit me really, really hard. I think the one that's going to hit me the hardest is when Jerry Lewis dies. Mm. And because he is, I hate to for say those of you, coming. yeah, for yeah. those of you who don't know, Jerry Lewis. Hey, lady. If, if it weren't for Jerry Lewis, the movie uh, movies would not be how they are today. He actually invented. So we're watching the selfie right now. Yeah. Um, the camera. He invented that. Did he? Yes, he did. He he directed, produced, and starred in his own movies. And he needed to see how he was doing as he was doing it. So he had them <coughs> connect a television set right. to his cam camera so he could actually see what was going on while he was acting. Mm. So he knew how to improve or whatever. Uh, and people are like, who's Jerry Lewis? Look him up. Uh, I think, My wife. Uh, I think one of his last acting roles. He's um, got one coming was, up. Was, well, the last one I saw him in, more, most recent, was he was he did an episode of Law and Order SVU. Mm -hmm. He played Munch's uncle. Okay. Um, My wife actually uh, mailed him a letter uh, a couple of years ago for my birthday. Uh, sent him a um, a photograph of himself when he was younger, uh, requesting his autograph. He, she told him that uh, I used to watch his movies all the time as a kid with my grandparents and everything, that I loved his stuff, and that she wanted uh, to get me a birthday present, a surprise birthday present of his autograph for my birthday. So he sent back the picture autograph with a note on it, oh, nice. personalized. Nice. And a little mem one of those little memo papers with a note, thanks, Liz. Signed Jerry Lewis. Oh, wow. Gave her an autograph, too, as well as the book he wrote while uh, per, uh, starring in um, The Nutty Professor, How mm. to Be a Human Being. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it, he, he's a great guy. He still does stand-up comedy to this day, and he's in his 90s. Yeah. Uh, many of you will know uh, he was in the news feed uh, trending uh, last week. Because uh, Yahoo News wanted to uh, talk to celebrities who are still working in their 90s. And he was very irritated by that. Because they were asking stupid questions like, when do you plan on retire? Have you ever thought about retiring? Uh, why are you still working when you're so old? Crap like that. And he was really tough about it. So, um. So don't 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 if you, if you if you find yourself tearing up or even just downright crying and bawling because your favorite celebrity died, don't listen to people. Yeah. Like I said, it um, there's two people that died. Uh, I think in the same year that really like hit me, uh, like Robin Williams is the one that hit me the hardest because uh, it was such a surprise how he died. And then later on, when you find out why he did what he did, it made it even worse. And then of course, uh, Roddy Roddy Piper. Yeah. So, but this year again has just been really hard. I, I, I joke by saying uh, the next Final Destination will be Final Destination in 2016. Well, this is pretty much. Do you think we'll have a better 2017? Here's the thing. A lot of people are kind of joking. 2016 is really hard in 2017. How old are you? 33. I just turned 37. A lot of the celebrities that we loved to watch growing up in the 70s and 80s and Think about how old they are now. Yeah, that's true. Um, so it's not so much that they're going to die. It's, you know, I think... We're reminded of our own mortality. Our own mortality, our, our nostalgia, our history is starting to crumble. Yeah. You know, like we grew up with Star Wars. Carrie Fisher was most of our first big crush. 
Um, so we can't go. Oh, no, my first was Terry Hatcher when she was Lois Lane. Terry, Terry, you know. <laughs> but so yeah, I mean, you, you get my point. And, and, um, I'm hoping it eases up a bit. <laughs> uh, there are going to be deaths that you know we're not we're going to be sad. I think course. everybody is. Everyone's going to be sad when Betty White finally drops. Oh, Betty White! <laughs> Betty White dies. We riot. <laughs> and and uh, the joke right now is we have four more days. Somebody hide Stanley. Yes, <laughs> dude. Oh, by the way, happy birthday, Stanley! Yeah, happy birthday exactly. today, ninety-four yeah. years old. Uh, still doing. Uh, he wasn't supposed to do any work at but he's advertised for C two E two next year. I'm fucking going. C two E two. This might be the last time we see the man. Um, I want to meet Stanley. Um, I've gotten to meet. I had a list of three people I wanted to meet. I wanted to meet Kevin Smith, Robin Williams, and Stan Lee. I can't meet Robin Williams anymore. I've met Kevin Smith twice. I want to meet Stan Lee. I really want to meet Jerry Lewis. I really want to meet Jack Nicholson. Oh, I'd love to meet Jack. Uh, here's, the, here's the thing. I heard he's an asshole. To meet. Oh, yeah. So I'm... He's actually retired. He kind of just... Is he retired? Yeah, he retired. Wow. He just... He didn't announce it or anything. He just kind of best best way to get him is to go to a Knicks game. Yeah, because he is a is a Knicks or Lakers. I, is he a Knicks guy or a Lakers guy? I, I think he's a Lakers. He's a guy. Lakers. Guy. He always goes to the, the game. Actually, I probably wouldn't do that. He's too into the game. He might snap at you. <laughs> what are you freaking nuts? I'm watching the damn game. I have always wanted to see a movie with Robin Williams and Jack Nicholson. Did they not do one? No, they did not. I always wanted to see that. I'll check my list. I think you're right. I'll check my list because I've been going back and. Trying to um, buy all of the Robin Williams movies, which I'm I'm close. I'm close. I finally surprisingly the hardest ones to find was Popeye, Death the Smoochie. I still can't find Jack. We have Popeye. I, I finally found Popeye. I've got Death the Smoochie. I have Death the Smoochie. I finally found that. I didn't like Death the Smoochie. I like Death the Smoochie. What? That movie was awesome. I watched it when it first came out, and it, as I saw it in the theater. I, I saw, saw it theater. one time, and the one I time like, was enough like for me. But, um, anyways, 2017 going to be better. Um, no. Uh, I, I don't think, I'm hoping it's not going to be as bad as 2016, but we're still going to lose some people that we do care about. So, Like a, the big three that are, their time's almost up. Uh, you know, Stanley, Betty White, and Jerry Lewis. And uh, uh, Keith Richards will never die. <laughs> The world is going to go up in an atomic explosion. He's going to be right there with the roaches going, I'll smoke And share. I'll smoke you, you world, you know. <laughs> Joan Rivers. Uh, Joan Rivers is dead. When that she happen? died two, two years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Plastic expires? Plastic. Yeah. She's not a Twinkie, dude. Huh? That's going to be the next surgical <laughs> thing, though, when finding Twinkies in you. So. Yeah. Well, Princess Leia, my wife brought this up to me. For those of you who don't know, this is Billy. Billy's dog. here. Yeah. Billy's here. He's working. Come, come on, camera, real quick, Billy. Show him what you're working on. Yeah. This is like this in the store. They actually donated. Look at that. Rob the robot. The original 1984, 83. Sorry, 83. Yeah. Uh, Rob came with the original Nintendo Entertainment System. I have two of these in, and uh, he's trying to clean them up and get them working because yeah. the uh, it's a mess. It's a mess. The battery compartment was corroded. And, yeah. So, I, but you'll hear Billy commenting. Um, off camera. Well, his son is here playing. Yes. Everybody knows that Marvel Fitzgerald bought Star Wars. <coughs> or Disney right. bought Star Wars. Carrie Fisher was the only true living Disney princess. Yeah. That's true. So, an actual princess died. <laughs> yeah. Which, uh, and I want to point something out, by the way. Um, I had a little bit of birthday money left over, so I went on uh, eBay yesterday. Um, like the moment my girlfriend texted me and said Carrie Fisher died, um, and people were raising the prices. There were five hundred dollars for a Princess Leia figure, and uh, it was just absurd. Hello, how's it going? Good. Okay. Um, I'm in. I, I found one for like thirty-five dollars, and I'm going to click yeah, buy. Sold. Now. I found one for like uh, forty-three dollars with the hit buy. Sold. I finally managed to get one for like with shipping twenty-eight dollars. Uh, complete cape, gun. So and then somebody there were people posting on Facebook, people jacking the price like five hundred. First of all, 
You're assholes. You're ignorant. Yeah. Um, taking advantage of the situation like that. I mean, yeah. they did that when first time they jacked up all his uh, merchandise on, on Facebook. Um, and and that happens all the time. And that's just don't be don't be a dick. Um, but let's go ahead and go into some new. <laughs> so there's a, there's a flash. The oh. new and the old Ghostbusters are going to be teaming up in IDW's new Ghostbusters 101 series. It's not going to be a one-off. No, it's going to be a series. series. Yeah, it's going to be a whole series. Um, uh, it's debuting March 2017. And this has led to rumor and speculation that they will meet in a movie. I don't know if you read that or not. No, I didn't. Yeah. Not. That last uh, it will also have the extreme Ghostbusters in it as well as the Ghostbusters International. Uh, so we're going to have this. And basically what happens is before the Ghostbusters were um, Ghostbusters, they were teachers. They were scientists. Yeah. So they decided to, why not bring in students, teach them how to be Ghostbusters. Right. Well, the students accidentally uh, opened up a... Uh, they goof up the dog. Space-time continuum. No, they uh, they they opened up a dimensional rift and merged two universes oh, same together. Oh, thing. Same thing. So they screwed up. Yeah. So that's how the new and the old goes. You guys are not going to be happy. Well, no. uh, actually, he might be. He's going to be intrigued. <laughs> yeah. Him and I, that's why I want to see him and Holtzman. I want to see him and Hol and Janine has got to get in there with a the jealous rage. <laughs> you know. It's funny you say that because when they did the Ghostbusters get real comic, mm -hmm. uh, Janine's boyfriend. Looks like the uh, Egon from the animated series. <laughs> He's got the ponytail and uh, spinning, spinning image. Awesome. And uh, when she sees the uh, Egon from the uh, animated. real Ghostbusters, she says, <coughs> When'd you cut your hair? What happened to your hair? <laughs> so animated. Yeah. Um, <coughs> Teddy Sears? Yeah. Uh, Sazoom will eventually turn to uh, Flash as the Black Flash. Yeah, it won't. It probably won't be this season, but it may be next season. A young George Lucas will meet DC's Legends of Tomorrow, and it's speculated well, they, that he, uh, the Legends will kind of um, inspire Star inspire Wars. him to make Star Wars. Mm. That intrigued me when I read that article. Um, Carrie Fisher had finished all of her yes. scenes for Star Wars Episode Eight, so Disney and Lucasfilms won't have to deal with the fallout until Episode Nine. Yeah. Uh, there's speculation that there's a good chance that um, if allowed, they'll be able to finish her scenes up in episode nine with the same CGI technique they used for Tarkin and Young Leia. Yeah, as long as they're, as long as her estate approves and everything. Uh, which, considering, um, you know, that is pretty much where she got her start of fame, and fans are going to want it. Uh, I'm sure that shouldn't be too much of an issue. I hope she's supposed to be a big part of the trilogy. Right. So maybe she. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing she was the one that was supposed to bring Kylo Ren back from the, from the dark side. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe. Uh, Rogue One has passed the 500 million uh, yeah. dollar mark at the box office. Beat Titanic and Avatar, please. <laughs> I love those movies, but I want to see Star Wars back as number one where it should be. Yeah. Uh, also, Supergirl, Melissa Benoit has filed for divorce from her husband, Blake Jenner. I don't think he's related to Bruce or nah. whatever the hell he's calling himself now. Um, citing irreconcilable differences. Basically, um, I don't know who you are anymore. I'm famous. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, a six-year-old in Arkansas um, used uh, their sleeping mom's credit card. No, fingerprint. Fingerprint. Sorry, to purchase, what is it? $250, $250. in Pokemon presents on Amazon. Yeah. Now with the presents for themselves? Yeah. <laughs> How old were they? Six. Six years old. Six. Now is a time when we need to bring back the corner, the belt, the switch, and the wooden spoon. Um, on do you one, the think, video games, do you the think TV, the, uh, since it was a minor who did it, do you think? It's not, well, it's, the, the 250 is not enough to throw anybody in prison. Yeah. No, 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 I wasn't saying that. Oh. <laughs> I, was, I was saying, do you think they will um, actually hold up, hold it up, uh, keep the money, or? Well, it, it depends on the parents. The parents can either send the stuff back, which I'm sure that's what they're going to yeah. do. Uh, the, unless they send it back, they'll usually they're usually going to look at it. 
refunds, uh, especially after they um, explain the situation. If they don't allow it, uh, if I were the parents, when the stuff comes in, the kid is going to be put in the backyard with a bonfire and thrown right in the fire. <laughs> The uh, Pokemon stuff, not the kids. The Pokemon stuff, right in the fire. Uh, I mean, it's a six. As the father of a six-year-old, you know, they don't really understand. How they'll understand that. <laughs> and don't tell me as a six-year-old they don't understand. I understood. It's all on how you. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I, I don't think kids, they really. I don't think they really understand that you know by putting the thumbprint that you're actually purchasing this stuff. That the money. How do they not? Think about yeah, it. How do they not the understand? Oh, I can't get this unless I have a thumbprint. Thumbprint. They knew. These were smart kids. Now, on that topic, keep an eye on these kids, Mom, because these are going to grow up to be college grads. <laughs> and possibly CIA agents. <laughs> also, Chris Columbus <laughs> is reportedly working aggressively on Gremlins 3. Finally. I'm yeah. excited about that. Now, he, now, he's not happy, he's, and never was happy with the sequel, a new batch. So, it's going to be, not a reboot, but part three, a sequel to his first movie. He's going to kind of ignore a new batch. Are they going to bring back the original? It, they're, th they're talking about like a Force Awakens type of deal. I'm assuming somebody else is going to have control over Gizmo, and Bailey's going to come And you think and, Howie Mandel will yes. return as Gim Gizmo? Yes. yes, I think he will. What the hell else is he doing? <laughs> Well, he, he's doing... Uh, America's Got Talent? Yeah. What the hell else is he doing? <laughs> yeah, true. Um, also, now, let's get into... I wish I... Well, upcoming... I'm just, I'm just I wish he'd go back and do drugs. He was funny as hell when he was doing the drugs. I'm just saying. Well, right, he's very... Um, okay, I don't want to make him He, Howie Mandel is actually uh, germophobic. Yeah, he's very OC, he's very germophobic. Yeah. Well, he always has been, though. Yeah. He always has been. That's why he shaved his head in. He felt cleaner with a shaved head rather than having hair. And if you notice back in the 90s and 80s, his hair was always really greasy too. So he, I think he did that to make sure nothing stuck to his hair. So, um, but now let's go into okay. movies that are coming out in 2017. Uh, next one, next big one anyway, is going to be uh, the Lego Batman movie. Yep. Coming out February 10th. Um, <clears throat> the first big comic book movie. Logan, Logan yeah. comes out March 3rd. Uh, Kong Skull Island on March 10th. Which is one reason why I'm looking forward to that. Because the next movie after that... Kong vs. Godzilla? Yes, sir. After Godzilla 2, which is rumored to be Kong and Godzilla. So. Uh, Mighty Morphin, Morphin Power, Power Rangers, Rangers on March 24th. That's the one I'm looking forward yeah. to early on very much. So, uh, by the way, side note, those who've seen the new Zord... Um, I've seen it in person. I watched Toys R Us last week. Uh, they had it. It's not as bad looking as everybody thinks. It's actually kind of cool looking. Um, I'm more concerned about the individual zords mm -hmm. than the big one because those look like shit. So. Uh, let's see. We've also got Ghost in the Shell coming out March 31st. Can care less. Yeah. Love the anime. Can care less about the movie. Yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Two, May 5th. Who gives a shit? <laughs> I'm kidding. I love the first one. I can't wait. Uh, Alien Covenant, which is going to, I the trailer yet. which is going to uh, unite um, what was the uh, Prometheus, Prometheus with Alien, which is going to be cool because I love Prometheus. Yeah. Prometheus is great prequel, cool. and that is coming out on May nineteenth. Pirate, this was this one came out of nowhere for me. Yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean five, which there's a title for it. I just don't really yeah. call what it is. Um, Wonder Woman. Uh, wait a minute, May twenty sixth is Pirates of the May twenty sixth. Sorry. Five. Wonder Woman, June second, which yeah. looks amazing. Yeah, it might be DC Universe's first actual success. Oh, really? wow. The remake of the Mummy, starring Tom Cruise, which looks interesting. I'm not happy at the fact that this is supposed to be an introduction into the new Marvel or Universal monster movie, um, uh, shared universe. Dracula Unbound was supposed to be, and they decided, nope, <laughs> it's the Mummy. So I'm kind of ticked off about that. But that's coming out June 9th. And here's one nobody cares about. Transformers Last Night, June 23rd. Uh, I'll probably see it on a Sunday night in the <laughs> theater or like on a uh, Tuesday when prices are discounted. Right. 
Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, July 7th. Wait, there's a new Spider-Man movie coming out? Yes, there is. There is? Yeah. Was Toby Maguire been... coming back? No. Have you been living under a rock? Yes. Right. Decatur, Illinois. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I can't wait for the new Spider-Man movie. I love it. The fact that Michael Keaton is the... Um, Vulture. Vulture. I've seen a tra- teaser trailer. Loved it. Uh, very much looking forward to the actual full-on trailer. A war for the Planet of the Apes, uh, July 14th. It, we're continuing the <coughs> Planet of the Apes series. Uh, we have, uh, what was the first, the first one? It wasn't Planet of the Apes. It was, because uh, the second one was Rise of the Planet of the Apes. The first one was... Um, James Franco of the Planet of the Apes? <laughs> Something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, but it will be continuing along that series. Uh, and Andy Serkis is coming back to do season. All good movies. Um, <coughs> Blade Runner. Yeah, Blade Runner 2049. With the turn of Harrison Ford's yeah. character. Uh, October 6th. Uh, Kingsman, The Golden Circle, October 6th. It's his first one. It, was actually, it wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Thor Ragnarok, which is going to have a uh, tie-in to Planet Hulk. And of course, Doctor Strange is going to be in it, so I'm super excited. For I, I think Thor. Thor is going to take the place of Better Ray Bill. I think so too. From, I think so too. Uh, but that's going to be November third. And of course, uh, another big one coming out: uh, Justice League Part, Part one, one, November seventeenth. November seventeenth. And of course, the one everybody wants to know because wants to see because everybody wants to know who's raised my parents. Uh, how is she going to be trained by Luke? Star Wars Episode Eight, uh, December fifteenth. Yes, uh, that will be about a, let's see. That's about a week before my birthday. So, so that's it for news in a flash. Uh, stay tuned. I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about Doctor Who Christmas Special, uh, the return of Doctor Mysterio. Uh, also, uh, Telltale Games Batman. Which I bought for my wife for Christmas. You got it working! Bring it over here, Billy. His head's backwards, but you got it working. Oh, all right. Do something. Ah, turn it off. it's camera shy. <laughs> turn it off, turn it off, and turn it back on. There we go. I'm going too far. Turn it on. <laughs> Johnny number five is alive. I am Johnny number five. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to be talking about that Telltale game uh, Batman, which I bought for my wife for Christmas, and she just finished all five episodes yesterday of the first season. Really great game. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing the 1999 action figure line, Dick Tracy. Is it 1999? 1990. Oh, 1990. I said 99. Yeah. <laughs> I want to party like it's 1999. There you go. But no, 1990 action figure line, the crazy, based on the 1990 film. Okay. Um, also, my book review for this week will be a Christmas present that my wife got for me, bought me from Geeking Out Comics, The Lone Ranger Volume 1 graphic novel. So, I guess it'd be trade paperback since it did actually come out in... Uh, I always call them graphic novels. Yeah. Uh, really. so, Stay tuned. Okay. Breaking news. This is huge. Big. Sorry. Uh, this comes from comicbookmovie.com. Ryan Reynolds to reprise Deadpool movie role in Logan alongside Hugh Jackman. Nice. So there we go. We got it. He, Ryan Reynolds got what he wanted. So. Nice. Sorry. Breaking news right here. Comic good. <laughs> awesome. That's amazing. All right, so back to the uh, back to hey the guys, review. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Maybe put a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to head on over to our Facebook page. Links are in the description below.